Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard where we cover the South African school syllabus and later topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is a mixed bag of possible exam questions, round 4, question 3. The formulas used are included in the video. The question is also posted in the description box below. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. Some of the formulas used in these videos, which are taken from DP examinations and past papers, do not appear in most textbooks or the formula sheet attached to your exam. You will need to know them in order to do some of the sums. They appear in the beginning and end screens. Let's get straight into it. Okay, our question states, a solid shaft with a diameter of 75 millimeters must be able to support a maximum bending moment of four kilonewton meters and a maximum torque of three kilonewton meters. The maximum torque exceeds the mean torque by 20%. Calculate the following. The equivalent torque and the shear stress in the shaft, the equivalent bending moment and the principal stress in the shaft. Next is the dimensions of a hollow shaft that can be used to replace the solid shaft for the same stress limits if the inner diameter is 50% of the outer diameter. And finally the percentage saving in weight if the hollow shaft is used. So. First thing they want, now let's put our data up on the board. M equals 4 times 10 to the 3 Newton meters. Torque is equal to 3 times 10 to the power 3 Newton meters. And our T mean. So our TE is equal to 20% of T. Now, what we're going to do with our data, we're going to work out the torque, the mean torque. So how we do that is say TE equals the root of T squared plus m squared because these are the only two things that we have to work with they're the only things we have to work with so this is what we have so what we have here is we can say te now we don't have to say 10 to the time 10 to the power 3 here because work it out is this Torque is 3 squared plus 4 squared. Now this will only work doing it this way. Doing it this way will only work if it's a plus. If it's a minus, it'll never work. Because then you have to take 3,000 minus 4,000. So in this case, this works. So all we have to do is put it in kilonewtons. So the root of 9 plus 16, which equals the root of 25. And the root of 25 is 5 kilonewton meters. That's TE. That is the mean torque. That is the mean torque. Now, TE, as worked out, equals 5 times 10 to the 3 Newton meters. Now, next sum is we're going to do is they want so we've done the torque 
Now what we need is we need the shear stress. So shear stress is equal to 16 Te over pi d to the power 3. So this will equal 16 times 5 times 10 to the power 3. This is where we use times 10 to the power 3 over now d is 75 millimeters. So times 0, 0,075 to the power 3. And our diameter is equal to 0, 0,075 meters. Now all this will <coughs> equal 16,361 mega pascals. So this may be useful later, so we always put it with our data. 361 times 10 to the 6. So, next point. Now we're moving on to the next part of the sum. 2.3. They want the equivalent bending moment. So, ME equals 0, 0,5 m plus the root of t squared plus m squared. Close the bracket. So in this case, what we really want is te. So what you're going to do is say me equals 0, 0,5 times m plus te. So, what we need to do now is Me equals 0, 0,5 times M, which is 4, plus 5. So, 4 plus 5 is 9. 0, 0,5 times 9. Me. So it's 4,5 kilonewton meters is Me. So Me, 4,5 times 10 to the 3 newton meters. So Next up, what they want next is our stress. They're wanting our stress. It says, and the principal stress. So we've got Me, which we've just worked out. So now we want the principal stress. So B equals the principal stress. Now this is. 32 Me over pi d squared. What we're going to do now is say 332 times 4,5 times 10 to the 3 all over pi times 0, 0,075 squared. Now our principal stress is 108,65 mega pascals. Principal stress is equal to 108,65 times 10 to the 6 pascals. Because we want the dimensions of a hollow shaft that could replace the solid shaft for the same stress limits, delta B, 
which is your principal stress, equals 108,65 mega pascals. So, delta B equals 108,65 times 10 to the 6 pascals. Now, what we're going to do is work out little d. So, for, for question 3, we're going to work out d. So, question 3 is d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 all over d equals d cubed. It's because it says little d is half of big D, so that is 2d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 over 2d. So, what we're going to do now is first we're going to do the top line. So, 2 to the power 4 is 16. So, 16 d to the power 4. Minus d to the power 4 over 2 d. Right. So, that makes 15 d. So, 15 d to the 4 over 2d. Now, what we can do is eliminate this and eliminate that and we're left with d to the power 3 which equals 0, 0,075 to the power 3 on the outside. So, 15 over 2 stays 15 over 2. So now what we do is we say equals 15 over 2 d to the power 3 equals. Now, 0, 0,075 to the power 3 times 2 divided by 15 and root 3. So equals, then we have d by itself, gives us 38,315 millimeters. And all we have to do is double that to make a D, big D, 76,631 millimeters. All in all, now we're going to do question 4. So we found the dimensions of a hollow pipe. So D equals seventy six comma six three one millimeters. Small D thirty eight comma three one five millimeters. So now all we have to do is use the next formula percentage saving question 4 they want the percentage saving in weight if the hollow shaft is used so all we have to do is say ds squared minus d squared minus d squared all over d squared s. Okay, 
Now, all this will equal 75 squared minus 76,631 squared minus 38,315 squared all over 75 squared. And we put that in our calculator and we get 21,7% saving. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the channel and, to, and with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.